Hey everyone, Kevin with Skylab Flight Systems. I have another tutorial for you today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to bind a Lemon RX DSM2 10 channel receiver with satellite port to a Spectrum radio. Uh, before we get started, there are a few things that you need um, in order to complete this process. The first one is a Spectrum radio. It should be six channels or more. Um, a note before you get going, you want to go ahead and set up your, your model that you intend to use this receiver with uh, prior to proceeding with the bind procedure. The next thing you're going to need is your DSM2 10 channel receiver and the contents that came with it, including the bind plug. And then you're going to want to have your satellite if you intend to use one. The last thing that you need is power for the receiver. Uh, two options here. You can install it in the aircraft. If you do, please make sure that you remove the propellers from your aircraft so you don't have an accidental startup and end up with some kind of an injury. Uh, the, or the other option, which is what we're going to be using, um, is a receiver battery. Um, please make sure that you do not try to use a 12 volt battery for this. Uh, it will blow up your receiver and void your warranty. So let's get started. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we are going to take this 10 channel receiver DSM2 and we're going to connect the DSM2 satellite to it. This receiver has one port on the one side and you're going to plug the receiver the satellite into the receiver and it's a very firm very solid connection. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bind plug and we're going to connect it to the receiver. On the Lemon receivers, the bind port is on top of the receiver and it says bind. So we're going to plug that in. Now it doesn't matter which direction the bind plug goes because it's the same either way. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to provide power to the receiver via the throttle channel. On the Lemon receivers there's a diagram on the very corner that tells you that the signal wire is up and the negative wire is on the bottom. So we're going to plug in the power and what we should get are LEDs on both that are flashing quickly that indicate that we are in bind mode. So we're going to set those down and then we're going to grab our radio and while holding the bind button we're going to power it on. You might want to get a little bit of a, a little bit of distance between them so that the signal can travel smoothly and you don't have a failure first time out. Um, my DX9 will announce the steps from here on. Binding. DSM2 22 milliseconds 1024 resolution. Bind complete. When the bind is complete, the LEDs will be solid color. So what we want to do then is we want to remove the bind plug, remove the power from the receiver, and then we want to turn off the radio. Now, before we move on, uh, we want to go ahead and see if, in fact, these are bound. We want to verify that. So what we're going to do is we're going to provide power again to the, to the receiver in, through the throttle channel. And then we're going to turn on our radio. What we should get is solid, solid LEDs on both of these. And there you have it. These are bound. If you want to do this procedure and not use the satellite, uh, all you have to do is omit it. You don't have to plug it in, and, and it's the same exact procedure. So now you're ready to go flying. Remember to visit scratchbuilds.com to get all your Lemon RX receiver needs. Uh, Chuck over there will get you everything you need very quickly, and he stands behind everything he sells. Thanks for your time, and as always, fly safe.